All right, so uh, by now you're listening to this review. Maybe those people, one of those people who DVRs the show and doesn't listen to it until we review it, and then decides to watch it. And you're probably thinking, "Man, this show sounds pretty skippable." Do not skip no, this it was show. Not do not skip this show. The Young Bucks versus FTR, the AAA and Ring of Honor tag team titles are on the lines. So they bring in Bobby Cruz from Ring of Honor to do the ring intros. It's one of those where I've heard a million Bobby Cruz ring introductions. I never really thought twice about it. But you put him in this this environment, this giant arena on national TV with almost a million people watching. He is really good at ring announcing. <laughs> He's tremendous. So this match ruled. I do think it was my second favorite FTR match of the past week, but it's close. I did think that the Briscoes match was very slightly better. Yeah. But, I, I mean, but. can someone please find me another incident in history... Where we saw one tag team have two matches of this caliber within four days. With with different opponents. Yes. I'm not talking it's even the same opponent. In four days, two matches I, of this caliber. I mean ha, has it ever happened? I mean, I, mean, I can imagine great. like two in a month or, you know, even two a week apart. This wasn't even a week apart. It was Saturday and Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. They were Fucking great. And different, too. This totally one, different. Yeah. Uh, they matched each other in chain wrestling. They did some brawling. They did some double teams. And then it settled down into an old-school tag team wrestling match with the heat on Cash Wheeler. And my biggest takeaway from this past week, besides this, I, I knew FTR was awesome. I have seen FTR have a lot of awesome tag team matches before. I was skeptical that they would be as awesome as baby faces as they are as heels. I knew they'd still be good. But I was skeptical they would still be as good. I am so happy to say I was wrong. They are the best baby faces. Cash is the biggest dude in the match. He's still a great baby face in peril. Dax is an awesome hot tag guy. They're running wild. And it's back and forth. And they go for the power plex. So he gets turned into a top rope runner. The whole building is standing at this point. The FTR goes to the big rig. But it gets countered. And the Bucks hit their own. And that gets to... They break out more bang for your buck, which they rarely use, but that gets to... They try a belt shot, but Dax breaks at the pin. <laughs> so they go to finish Cash off. They, they super, double super kick Dax. He's out of there. Now they can just eliminate Cash. If you watch this, even as he's gra they're grabbing his hands to the BTE, BTE trigger, sandwich his head with knee strikes to put him away, he is still mocking them, giving them the too sweet gesture. <laughs> just fighting till the end because he's a great baby face. So they hit it, and they get a three count, but Cash's foot was on the ropes. And I forget who it was. I'm trying to remember. Somebody did this finish at Mania, but it wasn't nearly as good. This finish was, or this false finish was awesome. The match gets restarted. The place is just white hot. The, the people are chanting for FTR so loud. The sound is distorted. And they go with the Melter driver, and that gets broken up. And the FTR, one dude hits a power bomb. The other guy hits a tombstone. And they grab whichever uh, Young Buck is in there. They go over the FTR trigger. It complete with the double kiss on the cheek that the Bucks do. They hit that. Hit the big rig. They get the win. They retain their titles. This may have been a perfect tag team wrestling match. Dude, it was awesome. And these guys, especially FTR, they watch so much old school wrestling. And, uh, and you know, it's like that's what they love. And they that's that's the style they want to work. And uh, they are. I mean, <laughs> this all sounds so dumb, but, like, when you watch, like, everything is so crisp and the way they lock up and the way they grab that headlock and the way Knee they bump and, and get punches, back up. Bump and feed. It's so fucking perfect. It's so old school. And, you know, to them, it's sort of like, uh, I don't know if I should say it's like a tribute or anything like that, but, like, th those those guys are their idols. And they want to, they want to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure in their minds it's like, man, you know, if we could be close to as good as those guys, but uh, they're actually better. And and if you transported them back in time, working the way that they oh, yeah. do now back then, they'd be like the best team back then. They'd be working circles around these guys. So uh, they're, you know, Young Bucks. I think Young Bucks are the greatest team of all time, which, you know, always makes people mad when you say that. But, I mean... I, it's like an Okada. It's like an Okada. I've never seen them have a bad match unless you go back to like I'm sure they had a bad match in like 2007 when they were in TNA and they were 
you know, Max and Jeremy Buck, Max and Jeremy Buck, and they probably Generation had some me. fucking X Division match that sucked or whatever. But I mean, you know, in the last, you know, I don't know, five, six, seven years, I've never seen them have a bad match. I never even see them have a good match. I only see them have great matches. Yes. And the greatest tag team matches I've ever seen in my life all involve, I mean, not all of them, but I mean. A great, the, the high you number. Know, a I, disproportionate share. That match they had in the cage with Penton Phoenix that I was there in like the, the yep. second row or whatever. Yep. That was the most amazing fucking match I ever saw live. And uh, I don't know how it came across on television, but. You know, you see them up close, you see the way they work, you watch the match itself, you listen to the crowd. It's like just a fucking unbelievable match. And it's not like they've only had one. It's like one after another after they another. Have... It doesn't matter who the opponent is. No. It doesn't matter the style. They can be luchadors. They can be FTR old school guys. They can be whatever. And it's always fucking incredible. And then I see this fucking FTR Having one of the best matches I ever saw on, it turns out it was Friday, so it was five days. They have that match with the Briscoes on Friday. Then they come back on Wednesday, have this match with the Young Bucks. I mean, they're, at this point, you know, their tag team of the year. Oh, by far, But there's 2022. Now, there's plenty of time left, there quite is. frankly. And uh, I've seen the Briscoes have a billion tag matches. And uh, they're also one of the best tag teams I ever saw in my life. So we got FTR. The Briscoes and the Young Bucks. Three of the best tag teams I ever saw in my whole life. And uh, if you watch the Ring of Honor show, they're all feuding with each other. Basically. The Bucks attacked the Briscoes. Yeah. The Briscoes lost to FTR. The Bucks lost to FTR. We still need to get the Bucks versus the Briscoes, yes. which I would bet you anything if we see that match in a in a uh, building with a bunch of people there. It's going to be as good or better than either of these two matches. Mm -hmm. They're all going to be on the same par. So uh, these three teams are just absolutely fucking incredible. And we've now seen uh, two of those matches. There's still one more, right? Uh, for the triangle, and then of course you could have the three way, and you can do dude, you can just do these three teams against each other as many times as you want. Like you say, it will never be bad. I just know that uh, you were mentioning earlier. It feels like a lot of these matches are being pushed, pushed up, and plans are being changed or whatever. Uh, we still got, gosh, I guess it's still two months of the pay per view. But um, I don't know what they had planned for the pay per view. I don't know what they had planned for uh, Jurassic Express and the tag team titles. But if I'm Tony Khan, if I can even wait that long. There is 0% chance that FTR is not walking out of the pay-per-view as tag team champions. And maybe, like I say, maybe you put the belts on them before then. But they are white hot right now. And uh, <laughs> just, just pounce on it. Seize the moment. A lot of people talking about Ring of Honor. Yeah, that Young Bucks Briscoes angle was shot on a Ring of Honor pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. So if, uh, you know, the folks at Warner don't want the Briscoes, well, they don't have to have the Briscoes. They, they can go on this Briscoes. Ring of Honor pay-per-view. I mean, this person goes will probably never see the triple threat. I, I don't know if I would uh, be confident about that. Dude, can, wait, but there's a lot of things There's I've a lot seen. of Ring of Honor pay-per-views coming, and they're yeah. going to need a lot of matches. Yeah, there's a lot of things I've seen in the past year or two that I never thought I would see. So uh, the, 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 no one's actually used this word on TV, but I think that forbidden door is still open. There's the other thing, too, is I don't even know what this means. Like... You know, I don't know what these Warner Media. Uh, there, there. I, I can tell you, from many months ago, you know, I was, I was told from people in in uh, AEW that it's just too bad about those tweets, because yeah. you know, the the Briscoes are, uh, you know, they they're quite beloved by a lot of people in AEW. They think they're they're they they love them, mm -hmm. but uh, you know. People say and do stupid things, and it was a long time ago, and uh, it may be a situation where he never, you know, and it's always, they're always like, too bad about the Briscoes. Mark didn't do anything. Also true. This is one of those things where it's like, can you imagine, look at how many legal issues Jeff Hardy had, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you imagine if, like, you know, Jeff Hardy, you know, some legal issue and pretty much he couldn't work for any major promotion? So Matt also wasn't allowed to work for any major promotion because he's his brother. So it's always funny you hear about, you know, it's too bad about the Briscoes. And it was Jay. Mark didn't even do anything. No. And I don't think Mark has ever complained about the fact that he didn't get work in WWE. He didn't get work in AEW. 
because of a tweet by his brother. He's never even complained about it. He just, uh, you know, does his thing. He does his thing. They work where they can. And hey, all those fellows, they still got that chicken farm. But my point is, if Warner Media said this guy's never going to work for, you know, I, we don't ever want him on TV. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know if, I don't know what the, the feeling is in AEW about Jay now. But, uh, you know, could he work a an AEW pay-per-view? Because if you're willing, if you're willing to use Jay for a Ring of Honor shows, and you have the potential to put this three way together, wouldn't you want it on your pay per view, like your AEW pay per view, that three way? So I don't know if we'll ever get it on an AEW pay per view, but I think we're gonna get a lot more of the Briscoes and the Young Bucks and FTR and Ring of Honor one way or the other. Yeah. And for those of you who do want to pay attention to the very fine details of this sorts of thing, uh, a couple of times they actually did mention the Briscoes by that name. On this show, so they're not a thousand percent banned, but uh, anyway, there you go. I was reading this book about bats. The book explains that a bat cannot stand and then take off, okay? A bat can only fall from a great height and then fly. Gotcha. Sting is now a bat. He just goes up on something really high and he falls. He he did not jump through these tables. (laughs) He he fell. He fell. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.